The US is slowly but steadily moving towards bankruptcy. Hi and welcome to a fresh new episode of The New World Order with me Atul Mishra. Let's begin. US and European countries have poured billions of dollars in aid and weapons to the world. As a bait to instigate Russia. After Sweden and Finland ditched NATO, it is that in the army general. However, the puppet king consumed by power and... Whenever the US needs money, it gets a loan from the Federal Reserve. And if the Federal Reserve wants money, then it simply prints more. The US government gives the Fed Reserve an IOU or government bond, which isn't even worth the paper on which it is printed, but works on the basis of trust. An IOU, a phonetic acronym of the word IOU, is a document that acknowledges the existence of a debt these worthless IOUs are sold to foreign central banks. Other countries buy these worthless IOUs as risk-free investments because they feel that they are essentially lending money to the US. But as economic experts say, your debt is only sustainable when you generate more profits than the cost of the debt that you are taking on. It means that if you take a debt on $100 and you are paying an interest rate of $10 on that, you must be at least generating a wealth of $111 to make your debt sustainable. However, do you think the US is investing the wealth properly to generate enough funds? To know this, we must understand where the US government is actually spending. The US has spent a total of billions of dollars sending free aid to Ukraine and many millions more spreading its woke agenda. These activities clearly don't generate the wealth you need to pay off your debt. So the US is effectively running a giant Ponzi scheme and is using other countries to pay for its wars and schemes. A Ponzi scheme crashes when one person in the chain stops being a part of the tomfoolery. The ones at the end of the chain suffer, while the ones in the top layers make a lot of money. Coming to the present, US President Joe Biden brought the four senior congressional leaders to the White House the following week after the Treasury Department warned that the government might not have enough money to pay its obligations by June. US Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen warned Congress in a letter that the agency would not be able to meet all of the US government's payment obligations, potentially as early as June 1st, if no action is taken by Congress. The projection gave political calculations in Washington, where Democrats and Republicans were preparing for a protracted standoff, as it raised the potential that the United States is on the edge of a historic default that would definitely shake the global economy. Now, the point is that the US dollar cannot remain the global currency forever. Countries should start trading in their own currencies. And we must tell you that the process has already begun. Countries all across the globe are de-dollarizing their economies and using currencies like rupees in case of India and rubles in case of Russia. Countries like France, China, Egypt, Zimbabwe and Argentina have taken steps towards de-dollarizing their economies and some others are on the way to doing so. It looks clear that the US dollar has lost the credibility it once had. Now it cannot print dollars or issue bonds recklessly. The US is clearly approaching an end to its economic dominance and this time its rescue mission to save itself from bankruptcy will not succeed. And let me sum it up for you. The US has long played this game of printing money and giving IOUs to unsuspecting countries. But this time, they have chosen a very wrong time. A time when countries are increasingly de-dollarizing their economies. And this time, this plan is set to crash. And this will crash the fate of Joe Biden and the Democrats in 2024 elections.